Hi everyone, um, I've just been experimenting and that's a result of it. I chose one of the um, different techniques out of here for surfaces and different textures and I happened to just open it up and on pause so I thought I would give it a try. I sort of done a little bit of that but not really and this actually has um, different variations of different ways that you can do pours like this is actually a pour that's then sprinkled with alcohol um, some are mixed with gel, some are mixed with water some are on webbing and here they've even mixed it with a, a gel and actually poured it into a plastic container that they can then peel it out of later and add that to their piece of work so it's a different way of doing a pour so this is a result of my playing around. I kind of like what I got. Um, so I'm going to try and see if I can replicate it because I have an idea of how I would like to utilize this patterning and everything. And I'll try and explain as I go along what I did. First I did the background which is what I'll do now. Um, I bought these fairly cheap creative paint effect stampers, ones that you use for kids, um, and stamp some patterns on there just using stays on. So I'll just do that. What I've actually done here is mask the top bit though because I want to leave that. I don't want that covered. So that's the idea that I have. to use this when I did some rock patterns of this as well. Not that it's probably um, relevant. And the other thing I found with these stampers is um, they wouldn't give a great impression until I put a foam mat underneath where I was working and then they actually gave a better impression. It is only a background so it's not light or that they're stamping perfectly. This one was probably, and if I took my time more, it might be different, but okay, that's those ones, and then I'll look at a Blazing red, which is what I'm going to do the big circles out of. I was pretty much just experimenting and happy accidents. Christmassy distress colours that came out seasonal. And I went over the top with that. I might move that fine. I just sort of muted everything. I'm going to lift that foam out because I don't really want to heat gun it and I'm finished with that stamping now so Just go 
over the light watery um, gesso. Oops, sorry. Just to give it a little bit more tooth again. I think that actually helped with the pouring, but I'm not sure. some of this left so I'm not going to mix any more but that was um, I don't know when you can read it Kaiser Craft Colour it's just an acrylic paint that we can get here in Australia yep lime and into that I put some of this clear glaze medium and I actually it was still a little bit too thick so I added a little bit of water to that and that's what I oh that's drippage not porridge <laughs> sorry that's what I um, poured and I just let it roll it's a little bit thicker now I think it's thickened up sitting there in between not sure if I'm going to get the same effects and then I just went from Side to side, which is a whole lot thicker. I'm just going to put on a little bit more. That's it. I'll just lay down this paper towel to catch a lot of that. Pitch and maybe get some going on this side. I probably should have added a little bit more water to that. I don't know if you meant to add water to see it, but I figured out well. Okay. not as fine trippage as the other one that's okay I'll see if it still works out for me Move that. now I'm just gonna dry it just a little bit not lot, so it's going to be a heat gun again with the next colour which was once again a Kaiser Craft colour and um, eggplant acrylic paint I just added a tiny little bit of that one and I didn't put sealer in it this time I only added water it's probably pretty watery I think that's just a fraction too thin. Make it a little bit thinner. And I'm 
going to pour this. The other one isn't dry yet. But I'm going to pour this over the top. And see what happens. Because the other one's not dry yet and it has sealer in it, it becomes kind of like translucent on it, but it still tends to follow the lines. So I found that rather nice. I'm actually seeing the roots of trees in this, but we'll see. is a little bit messy. I tend to like messy. Okay. Now I want to take that off and see. Yes. Quite possibly that may work. Just a little bit. A little bit there. Everywhere, okay. So I'm quite liking the effects of that. The one that I did before still isn't dry yet the sealer takes a little while to dry and it actually has just a little bit of shine to it which tells me that it's not quite dry yet but you can see the effect that I was going for but of course it never happens the same each time I'm going to stop the video there and hopefully I'll be able to show you the end results, just this is going on forever. <laughs>